Casey was a daughter, granddaughter, sister, niece, cousin, and friend. She was kind, caring, had a great sense of humor, lived life to its fullest, and was loved by many. She was so funny, and so vibrant, and so beautiful in every way. She was smart, she was intelligent, she had goals for herself, she was really grounded, and she was someone that you knew would grow up to be somebody special, somebody important to other people. Casey's life ended on July 17, 2009. She was struck and killed by a distracted driver while she was crossing the street in a crosswalk. He had taken his eyes off the road for just a few seconds. He's gonna, after this rally, drive well text anymore, right? Right. 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 There you go. Don't drive uh, while making or receiving calls. So it's really hard to hear that phone ring and not pick it up or hear it make a sound and not look at the text. So turn your phone on vibrate. Right? So you don't hear it. So it doesn't distract you and make you want to pick it up. Somebody mentioned that a reason that we use our cell phone is to let people know we're going to be late. Well, if you text the people that you are going to see before you leave to let them know you're on your way, and you don't have to text them later, and they don't have to text you because they know you're driving, and a nice, responsible friend would never do that to somebody who's driving. You can always turn your cell phone off, right? The first time I did this, it felt really weird. Try it and see how it feels. To concentrate actually on driving and not being worried about what's going to come on your cell phone. If you are driving, or your parents are driving, and they start to pick up the phone, pull over. Pull over to a safe location and make that call or text that's extremely important. So if you are running late, pull over. Tell people that you're going to be late. If you have passengers in your vehicle, we saw these guys texting in the back seat. The driver can make his passengers, his deputies, to actually make the text or the phone calls. I don't know why we have drive through food, right? If you eat in the car, it's a big distraction. So wait until you're done driving to eat. Pick a playlist, put it on, and let it go. Anybody put makeup on in the car? Good. I've seen it happen. I've been in Chicago, I've been in LA, I've been in New York. I've seen people putting on makeup, I've seen people shaving, I've seen people read the newspaper in the car. It all happens. The biggest tip on here is to be a driver who actually cares about other people rather than yourself. Texting a driver, driving a strike is one of the most selfish things you can do because you might not be worried about your own life, but if you're gone, you're leaving your parents, you're leaving your siblings, you're leaving your friends to be sad and grieve over you while you're gone. So, who's got their cell phone on? Pull it up! to itcanwave.com right now. So, we can show everybody at Act Out Loud and NDistractedDriving.org that Hillsdale High School is all taking the pledge to not drive distracted. 